Because WAPs confuse superstition or religion quite True. a bit. They, were, they got civilized kind of not as, yeah, yeah. Not as recent as everybody else. <laughs> uh, Sean, <laughs> uh, how was your Skankfest yeah. experience? We didn't even talk about that. It was fun. What'd you do? Well, you know what happens there stays there. Dude. What happened? I don't know what happened to you. No, nothing happened. I just uh, hung with the bros. Hung with the bros? Yeah, we yeah. had a nice Saturday. It was great. Saturday what happened, was what happened nice Saturday? Day. Just watched the Notre Dame lose, but right. still. Right, seen that. Chick-fil-A was nice. Chick-fil-A we had to hang out with the bros. Nice. That was nice. Then you abandoned me, and I lost all control. I texted you, actually. You went to bed. I lost all my I control. I texted you. No response. I lost all function. I got the fucking receipts, bro. You left. that day. I ended up taking fucking drugs, dude. <laughs> yeah. I watched your last show, and you're like, that's it for me. I'm going to take Molly. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you sang yeah. after the... What? You sang after the Molly. Yeah, right? I took Molly, and that then I the same sang night. on that's stage. That's a fucking win. I didn't know it was broadcasted live. I didn't know it was mint. <laughs> yeah, they streamed so it was everything. It recorded. Everything got streamed. I didn't even know I was going on. I was just standing there. And then they were like, do you want to sing it real quick? And I was like. What, you sang drag? Yeah, I sang Dragula. And At half midnight? the time, literally, I was on Molly just standing there like. <laughs> like turning and just watching the band. I was like, damn. Yeah, that's a rule. And all my buddies were in the back. So I was like. Yeah, it was fun. I had early bedtime both those nights. The first night, I genuinely was like, I was fried. Yeah, first night was tough. And then the second night, I was oh, like... Oh, first night, I got fucking obliterated. <laughs> yeah. I got obliterated. Nate Diaz showed yep, up. I got yep, obliterated. Yep. Yep. That was tough. That was that was my bad. All the bros abandoned. I was asleep. All the bros were gone. I know. When Nate showed up I with know. his bros. I know. So him and 10 other dudes showed up, his squad. Yep. I'm thinking, we're going to link the bros. It's going to be a crazy squad. We're going to have a wild... <laughs> Turns out none of my bros are around. I'm literally by myself. The green room's locked because they're doing the fucking naked <laughs> I know, roast. I know. There's nowhere to go other than in the room where the naked roast is going. <sighs> I'll tell you, who doesn't like naked roasts. Not only us, Nate Diaz. It doesn't like them. Yeah. So then finally the green room's open. We get in there. It's it. That's nice. We're drinking, having a nice time. Some of the naked roasters, these fucking dickheads, naked dudes, walk in with tiny penises. <laughs> the squad is furious. <laughs> Also, all of them. That is the funniest possible thing. All of them, no hesitation. We're just like, we're getting the fuck. Like, didn't even communicate with one another. Just got it. The whole squad knew exactly. They were like, this is not our vibe. Yeah, this is the Let's get the the fuck out of here. (laughs) This has got to be so offensive. Thankfully, they extracted me. They're like, we got to get the fuck out of here. Damn. We went to Caesars. And I, I, at that point, I had drank too much. Yeah. So I just sat there and played blackjack for. Wow, I did very well. That's pretty sick. But then it's Caesar's chips that I just have. <sighs> They're ready for next time. Mm-hmm. You ready? You ready to go back there? I'm ready to go back to Caesar's and play a little blackjack? <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm going to stay. And I go, well, the rule book says you should hit. I go, yeah, fuck that. You're going to bust, dude. Trust me. Oh fuck, and dude. You fucking oh, bust, dude. Fuck, dude. Oh. I said you're about to bust. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, Skankfest was good. It was very good. It was a fun time. Those guys do such a good job. It's such a fun time. Um, Dude, how about people passing the fuck out? People were passing out during our shows. That was crazy. I, you know what? I don't like... I was a bit of a loud mouth on a couple podcasts. <laughs> I was not happy with myself. Why? I don't know. On that that one, Uh huh. I didn't like it. I was too aggressive. Which one? The YKW, the Bobby Kelly one with all those guys. You did what you had to do for the cast. That's the thing people don't, they don't see the fucking, the force of the show. Yeah. You can't, you don't have it in you to I'm go trying down. trying so hard to just quietly take it. You can't, you don't have it in you to go down with a, and just let a cast not be the best yeah. it could possibly be. I have to be. close my eyes and swing at people as hard as it's I can. It's warrior's blood. I was sitting there, I was peeking through a curtain, dude, <laughs> just watching and just going, he's got no other choice. He has no choice. He has he's to do He's got no this. other choice. Yeah. Because it would start to kind of get like the dude it, when a live podcast starts being like I don't know uh, yeah it's it's sheer fucking panic it's sheer panic and that's when I just say All right, I gotta pick one of these guys yep and I say hey what the fuck's wrong with you fuck you dude you're ruining this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's so funny I know it's clearly a joke but sometimes guys don't know I'm kidding yeah true true and they're like dude why were you being a fucking asshole yeah I mean and then I go you're right I mean I literally I was being an asshole I thought it was. I thought it was clear that that was... But it's fun. It's yeah, funny. Because then you can just go, what the fuck is it? What the hell? Why are you attacking me? 
Yeah, that's funny. Good you go, dude, whoa, 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 what whoa. The hell? I was joking, dude. Dude, it's, I think someone, I, th- I don't know if it's Lewis, but someone's like, he'll fucking say something about you and then make you feel like you're the aggressor. I don't understand how he fucking does it. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis is the aggressor every fucking time, True. dude. True. He started aggressive. He came on and he was like, fuck this. You guys are cheering for Shane. Fuck Shane. Whoa. And then immediately it's like, all right, well, okay. I'm going to attack you yeah. viciously. Stored. The Stored. We, well, we kissed. I regretted that. Me and Lewis pecked on the lips. What? Yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> what? Yeah. I don't know. Somehow somebody said I wouldn't do it. Something along those lines. Damn, warrior blood, dude. I felt badly about that. I woke up like... I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know it either. I got that right after. Woke up the next day. There's a photo of me ah. pecking Lewis. Ah. Tell you what, that was a big regret. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's a lot going on that I regretted. <laughs> yeah, well, I like got done. I did a I did a spot in the tank, and I got done. I said, "Let me go see my buddy Shane's up there." It was funny. Soder was high as shit during that. I know. So he was like, "Yeah." Soder was very positive. He, he was, was like, "Cause I got done, and of course, standard, <laughs> standard, get done with one of those." I'm like, "Dude, I'm such a fucking loudmouth fucking bitch." <laughs> You and did make people it like, funny. dude, no, you did good. You did, man. I'm telling you, I was watching. I'm like, damn, you made it so funny. Because you, you. T- store to the, you steered it towards Catholicism towards the end. Very funny. Very funny. Yeah. I was just like, dude, you don't fucking believe that shit. And you're like, yes, I actually do. Very seriously. I love it so much. That was that was a sick move. Like, you don't go to church. Every Sunday I go to church. Dude. Every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, nah. I was like, yeah, for real. We'll see. We'll see how that one turns out. I'm it sure I won't like it. Yeah, I mean, just don't watch them. That's the thing. Never watch it and don't ever read any. Never comments. watch it. Never make any adjustments. Continue doing exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, don't take any feedback. No feedback ever. But I will say, in that situation, I thought it was funny at the time. But pals having fun. Some pals guys didn't each like other. it. I mean, and that's fine. Sometimes when you give it a little side punch on the arm, you might stick out a little knuckle. But it's like, yeah, there's some nasty ones. There. <laughs> there's a couple. Of that. There's some, there were a couple mean ones. Was anyone actually upset? Yeah. Oh, that stinks. It's a shame. Not really upset, just yeah, like, just like, dude, you don't have to do that. Yeah, a little. And they, they were that person in particular was correct. Yeah, yeah. yes, and I felt badly. No, that's all right. Um, but you know what? We live and we learn, dude. No, don't learn. <laughs> don't learn one thing. I'll be on a podcast in a week, calling someone the, a pussy <laughs> in front of a crowd, and they'll be like, "Dude, why'd you humiliate me?" Because <laughs> it was a joke, dude. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's it is kind of funny though. It's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> or oh, just be like, I'm not a pussy. Yeah, I mean, there's that side of it. Yeah. Or turn on the entire crowd. If if someone called me a pussy and the crowd laughed, I would just turn on the crowd and be like, "Fuck you guys." Yeah. You guys. The crowd didn't anything? like my jokes during our podcast very much. Which one? A couple times, I'd be like, "You, you know, you guys are the dumbasses." That was funny. They would though. literally be like, "Dude, that is funny." I know it's funny, but that's so funny. Sometimes I'm too meta, dude. You know what I mean? We're we were talking about just the <laughs> the like uh, what is it? I always get that mixed. That's the 11th century. The yeah. peasants in 11th century just getting whipped into a frenzy by a uh, Pope, Pope Urban, by like just people making shit up, and they all got. And Shane was like, "You, you know, you guys would be the ones. The guys watching, you guys would be the idiot peasants being sent towards the Holy Lands." And they used to watch people like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that was that was. But most people laughed. That was see. the worst setting for a live podcast of dude, all time. Crazy, great setting for comedy and all awesome. that. And the other rooms were perfect for live podcasts. Bro, that's movie theater was sick. movie theater was incredible. Awesome, you were just looking into the darkness. The other, what you would, our setup was ours was you were looking at a crowd of bro, people you right here. Everyone's faces, everyone standing up. I don't know if you know about those guys, like. 2% of them can't pilot their own bodies successfully. They'll just fucking pass out. <laughs> uh, shut down. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, I haven't drank People water in three days. People both uh. shows. <laughs> there's, there's and also, once they out. faint, everyone was scared. I know. It's like, don't be scared. He was standing for too long. Yeah. You can't. Somebody, it well, People happens. are ready for a fentanyl overdose, I feel like. People yeah. are like waiting for the fentanyl. You're the chosen fucked up one. standing. For just to, that's how that's why people faint at every wedding. Yeah, not at every, but you know what I mean. I know what you mean. You get shit fit. You chug whiskey before you stand for an hour. You're yeah. gonna faint. Something sort of. Yeah, um, lights are going off. But yeah, that was funny. Dude's fainting. I, I met the one guy who fainted. By the way, 
I'm sure he was fine. He was cool. He was, he was all right. I'm sure he and was like, going back. A guy fainted and then a girl fainted. The second. Girls yeah. fainting, they, they're like goats, dude. They faint constantly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they yeah. pass out all the time. Let's switch over to Let's, the Patreon. Yeah, the side of the Patreon. I got some, uh, I got some talk. What do you mean? That was a little more. Oh, we got a little more Crusades talk, dude. Ooh. A little more. I got, I, I'm going right. to pick up. All right. Slide us back into a. Uh, Me gusta mucho. Very good stuff. Uh, goodbye. <sighs> Thank you for listening to our podcast. Hello, we're here live. Dude, who did you? That would be sick, though, to go back to like your longest relationship and just backstab them. Yeah. We got to figure out how you could possibly backstab them. Like, I don't know how I could, like, I'm trying to think out of all my brothers who I could backstab. You could take one of your brother's, like, wives. True. That would be a good backstab. And you would abandon your family as well. Oh, a double backstab. Yes, you'd be the ultimate. That's a triple cross. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, abandoning. And then your... get her back. Then be like, dump your boyfriend's wife or, or your, yeah. your friend's wife. Yeah. And then win your wife back. And then kill myself. And then kill yourself. <laughs> so you've ruined everything for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a crazy life, dude. It's sick that dudes do that. Sick. Like yeah. Dudes actually like destroy everybody around them. Yeah. Uh, we're here live with our, our guest today, <laughs> Frank. Here I am. What's up, bro? Old Frankie. Good to see you guys. Thanks yes. for having me back. Frank from the neighborhood. I don't dude. think I don't think anybody gets I don't think we get more hyped for a guest than when Frank's bro. around. I don't know about that. I'll I swear to God. Ask Shane for my honest reaction. He walked in, I said, dude, I got Francis. He goes, Oh yes. Oh, that's so nice to yeah. hear. Dude, you were I fantastic really last that. time. You're so fun to be around. Oh, I have a blast with you guys. You can carry a cast. That's something I pay. I'm like Yeah. Man, can carry a motherfucking cat. It's nice to have someone. On the last one, you were. I was really excited to hang out with you guys that time. We're <laughs> no, not this time. I, well, I'm worried I burned all my best stories. I got I got plenty of stories. All right, so here yeah. here's topic number one. True, and I need to give you the full lead on this. You're gonna be pumped. So as you know, I got a personal trainer. <gasps> Did you know that Billy mentioned it? Yes. All right. So today I had my first sesh. What was it like, bro? If you saw how out of shape I am, <laughs> oh my god, dude! We were doing workouts, and I was like, I was, I stopped to tell the guy, I was like, dude, this is like, the workouts we're doing is like rehabbing, like a dude who was in a car wreck teaching me how to walk. They do mobility. Like I'm literally shit. like stepping on a box. You're stepping Hank down. Breaking Bad after it's those shooting. <laughs> yes, dude, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, they do all that mobility shit now, so now they're like, let me see you do a squat, and they're like. Twist your ankles 30 degrees. Bro. It's like, dude, I can't do that. I did one of those things First once. squat, Charlie Horse. <sighs> wow. And he was like, wait, were you drinking yesterday? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was at 11. So I woke up at 10. I would just like walk in. He was like, did you have anything to drink today? I was like, no. <laughs> I was so dehydrated. <laughs> I got in there and did a squat. And got a Charlie Horse right away. And you know what's funny? It's the exact same thing that happened to me at West Point. Really? Day one. For the first morning, we had PT in the morning, and they were like, "All right, we're gonna start with some squats." And I was like, "Dude, I squat four hundred. This is gonna be nothing." <laughs> Dude, I went down and first squat. I was like, Ugh. "Oh, you got? Did you get a horse on the first squat?" In I West got Point? Charlie horse. Yeah, my first one at West Point because we walked around all day, and then in the morning we didn't drink anything. And it was like five thirty in the morning. I was do standing doing squats. My legs locked up. Oh, and they're like, "All right, we're gonna go for a jog." I was like, "I'm walking, dude." I'm in the back walking. Yeah, they got to put you on a little cot and Dude, fucking carry you. It was crazy. Not, not a little one. Big one. Hey, hey Frank, we don't we Frank, don't do that kind of stuff. I just right? told you I went to a personal trainer this today. He's not a weight that. shaming. He's just... This is, this is body positivity, dude. This is a new long. direction of comedy. Think of the cot you would need. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the stretcher. I would literally need, like, instead of stretcher bears, I'd need Paul bears, dude. I need a guy, I need a guy on each fucking rung. I need some Paul Bunyan. Imagine the, yeah, old, the old wars when they'd be like, get him on. They'd be like, eh. Too oh, big. this guy? They'd be like, yeah, oh, yeah this is too many lives <laughs> yeah, to like, risk leave to, them. to gather him. Yeah, the new direction of comedy is body positivity. Like that. Gender queer. Yeah. We don't, I am we don't tag queer. Even if, don't attack someone for being tall, dude. That's crazy. I just Gender think was, of the, the the size of the bed, the no, gurney was, you'd need. That was all. That was yeah, fun. no, 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 no. It's fine. Uh, look, guys, I'm gonna get. First off, I'm gonna get attacked for, for even what? admitting to going to a personal trainer, and that's fine. You need to keep the machinery. I'm, going. I, I'm for that. I like I, that you did I'm that. I'm excited about it. We'll see how long I can do it. Do you, do you know why I'm excited that he did that? Why? Be because I want Shane to start spending money. 
mm. superfluously. I want I want you to start spending money in in ways where you don't even need the things you're buying. You live in you you do so well, but you live in squalor. <laughs> Dude, he's got plants. Look at that. This is Tom's. Still, it's still you nice live amongst plant. them. You're still Dude, breathing. I live in amongst there were plants. no lights on. There's no lights. Why? Where are the lights? I'm not a girl, dude. Well, this is more of the old money look. A lot of old money, you have more just lamps kicking around. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you something about class, dude. Yeah, he's from L.L. Bean. <laughs> know, you know, going to tell him about lamps? He's from the Bean. Dude, you could model Bean. I, oh, my God. No bullshit. I, I, there was a, I was in one of the magazines, but I, I, was, I was blurry in the background mowing the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what were you wearing? I was not in focus. Did they make you wear Bean? Uh, I don't even think I uh, I don't I don't think so. <laughs> sort of like a it was a dog. They were they were shooting for dog beds, and they were they were and using our back. labs, our yellow labs. What? Oh and God, then your I labs was are gorgeous out, out the window I mowing you, the lawn. Dude. But in, they put me in blur so that they they would you have, have to pay me. Some labs. Well, we had some good labs. How yeah. much did you fetch for modeling out those labs? <laughs> they would give us the dog beds. That's how they paid us. That's still nice. They to gave get us your the dogs. product. It's nice to get your dogs. Some shine. Dog those are some nice dog. Those are big. What were your dogs' names? Well, the first was Waggy, and we got Waggy on my third on thir Christmas. I was three years old, and I came downstairs. Oh, so Waggy's long dead. Uh, yeah, but she was the mate. She started it all. She was the matriarch because then she was such a great dog that we bred her. You guys would breed. You ever you ever yeah. seen a dog have puppies, man? No. <sighs> you won't forget it. Why is it disgusting? Well, they, they it's really hard work. You know, you're having like eight or nine children. Yeah, yeah. Let it go. And so you feed them um, eggnog to restore <laughs> the calories they're burning as they as they get <laughs> like, I was getting them some egg eggnog today at the trainer. Eggnog's pretty good. <laughs> he was like, yo, you need some noggin? Oh, my God, guys. Yeah, you, you, you need some nog, bro. Thank God. So th this is one thing I was worried about. If this was in a there's, – there's the hardest part about being fat and getting back into working out. It's like I don't want to go make a fool of myself in the gym. Mm. People this, die for that. What? People die for that. It's like, I'm not making a fool of myself. I'd rather die than go. Yeah. It's like a fear of public speaking where they're like, I'd rather die than give a speech. Yep. I'd rather die than go fall doing box jumps <laughs> at a gym. <laughs> Just pop a medicine ball. <laughs> Just fall <laughs> and shatter my shin doing a box jump. Was it private? Was it like secluded? But it's private. Yeah, it's up. It's just in a nice little place upstairs. Me That's and awesome. me and my guy. You got to try to kiss someone just once and never bring. I him think back we're up. getting close already. Really? First time there was sparks. I made him laugh a couple of times. What? How, how yeah. jacked is he? He's not. He's not. He's not. I mean, he's definitely like strong and in shape, but mm -hmm. no, uh -huh. he's not like huge. What do you want in your personal trainer to look like ideally? I like this guy. He's a hunk. He's just a nice hunk. I mean, you don't. So you don't want the super jacked guy. I've had the super jacked guy as like strength and conditioning coaches and shit. I'm not for it. Mm. Mm. Just a jacked, a huge jacked guy. It's like, <laughs> come on, pussy, and you're like, all right. Yeah, yeah. you got to, uh, you got to start inquiring slightly about gear. Just oh, be like, true. so, like, I'm trying to take. Yeah, he was like, level. what do you want out? Of it? Like, what do you, what are you like ideal weight? What do you want to get to? And I, yeah. I should have just been like, I'm trying to bulk, dude. I'm trying to gain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's you what I'm going for. At, you should have been like, yeah. dude. Where can I? Mm. Where can I score? I'm trying to. I might after like two weeks of doing like step ups on a box and <laughs> sit ups, be like, all right, dude, now it's time to take this to the next level. <laughs> You're doing cat and cow, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, we stretched at the end, and I was like, Jesus Christ! Man. <laughs> I don't know what's what's uh what is the potential pushback against trying to maintain the bod. Trying to maintain the nothing shell. at all, other than people my friends and people out. laughing at me for trying. Yeah, I hear you. But some people That's get the hard like part. some people get pit. I on my Instagram, I shared a story. Some guy just sent me a picture of himself flexing his back. It was <laughs> ripped. Yeah. People mm -hmm. were like, "What the fuck? Take this shit off." I'm like, "Dude, it's excellence." Well, this guy's fucking. Shredded. If you're taking a picture of yourself with your shirt off and posting it online, that dude, is. It was, gay. but it was a classic back pose, dude. It was fucking. Yeah. I mean, that's very funny if he does it jokingly. He said it was for the. It was for Shat Nation. All right, well, flex the back. <laughs> yes, that's very. People funny. got people got pissed. I was <laughs> like, dude, this is excellence. I like that. That's Has to cool. be celebrated. I really like. I, I I admire men's bodies now more than I do women. Mm. I would say. Yeah. I've shifted, and I think that's fine. Yeah, girls' bodies are gross, dude. Well, you think about them. It's just you, you, you kind of you get better. Your taste improves. For sure. You know? You, you just get gay. <laughs> yeah, that, oh, I mean, that's your theory, dude. It's not like I'm going to act on it. Men become women with time and women I become just, men. I think that it takes a lot more work to have a super ripped back than to be in a bikini with nice boobs. True. Here's my problem with dudes that are jacked, that do nothing else. 
That's it. Yeah. That's it. There's it's like sick, dude. Just jacked. Do something. Stop going to the fucking gym. Yeah, but then you, you got to do something. Then you find the occasional guy who you know is super jacked and he's doing. He's stuff. doing other stuff. I like what you do. Is that what you're trying to get? No, <laughs> I'm not there. You're pretty. You're very. I'm fit. Lean. You like going to the gym. I'm lean. I like to exercise, but it's all be- to keep my sanity. Yeah. If I go I, like two or three days without exercising, I'm starting to envision bro you know, killing yeah. people. I got home from the gym today and I was so happy. Yeah, you feel great. I man. was like, nice. Yeah. Started listening to hip hop. Played FIFA. You, you, it was great. Your your beer tastes better. Really? Yeah, because then because then you don't feel any guilt about it. Oh, I have no almost none. <laughs> sure, but like that first beer after a workout, you you think there's room for this. My body has made space for this. My body's yeah. thirsting for this. Yeah. I what guess. do you think the over under on times I go train is? I think you'll stick with it. You think I'll stick with yeah, it? I think it'll get easier. That. Yeah, I, I think you'll stick that. with it, dude. I mean, it's it's good. You need to maintain the body. I got. Yeah. I had to. It's look before I. I was like, look, if you work out, you're gay. I still maintain that, hmm. but I needed to get gay in order to survive. Exactly. If I would have kept it this rate, I would have probably passed away soon. <laughs> yeah, it, it would have been fifties <laughs> for sure. Fifties, I will pass away. You think fifties? Fifties, sixties, yeah. Well, though Louis Anderson just made it to like sixty-eight. Yeah, dude, you'll. Yeah, I can. I'm, I got that. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll creep into like late. At least I guarantee you, late seventy-one, 60s, late sixties. Yeah. No, well, let's not get. Just think about how much gayer me. you'll get <laughs> as you get older. You'll Sorry. get even gayer as you get older, and you'll be in. You'll start entertaining. Just, yeah. Oh my god. No. Yeah. You just got to be like, no, you look good. And they're like, true. Really? Like, yeah. yeah. I did a good job. <laughs> Everybody's lying. You look hot as fuck. <laughs> All right, thanks. You walk outside. You're like, damn it. Yeah, the picture. <laughs> just lied to me. <laughs> but yeah, I got the Donald, dude. So how'd you end up getting it? How'd you strike back on him? The Secret Service started to, they're like, all right, dude, we'll get you. Oh, that's we're going cool. to cool. get it done. We'll find the exact perfect time. That's and cool. And finally, they're like, all right, go, go. Now's your chance. You got to go. I was like, all right, this is it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And Jamie was like, you got to go. You go, had go. to go. And then finally, Rogan turned around and was like, fucking, you got to go, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Got a quick pick. Got the fuck out of there. Yeah, and he just said he's complimenting you. Yeah, he just said, you look great. How's everybody? That's awesome. <laughs> yes, no, like, I do. Uh, my yeah. mom's doing good. My mom and dad are at home. My sister. <laughs> 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 he should have went on until he's like, get out of here. No, I, was, I didn't even think about posting that picture. Why? It was I don't pro- know. Was I think some people collection. were mad about it. Why? Who I posted mad? it, and I think people were like, what the fuck? Dude? Like, you know, those. No. Dude, it was a, a couple people were like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "I thought it was clearly funny." Like people I'm in a Versace T-shirt with Donald Trump. Yeah, it seems like the funniest. Picture. Your instincts are correct, dude. <laughs> I knew it was right. I I'm mean, just dude, saying, I, I like didn't even consider it. And then I got back, and somebody texted me. It was like, "Proud of you, dude. Fuck all that. Post it. Who cares?" I was like, "Oh shit." Oh, there was like people being. Somebody nasty. was like privately supporting me, and I was like, oh, I didn't even consider that it was. A thing that would matter. Dude, it's not 2016. It's yeah. 2023. Yeah. And like, wh- yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That's fine. Anyway. Shit. That, so this, dude, if someone's hating on you with the 45th president in Versace shirt, it sounds like a them, them problem, bro. That's a big time that, them that's problem. That's a them dude. problem. Dude, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That's funny to see that and be like, well, here's where he went wrong with yeah. this. It's like, uh, I don't know. With the, the literally just the last president in a Versace shirt ringside, it's like, I don't know, man. Yeah, maybe, maybe that maybe he's turned the he fucking, might be onto something. Maybe flip the eyeballs back around. <laughs> well, here's what I would have done. Yeah, I would have said fuck you. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would have been wearing a potato sack and been like, "Fuck you, Donald Trump." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm donating all my money to charity. Yeah, that shit's fucking weird. Yeah. It also, was... that is a tortured existence, though, to just be like, to just check something and be like. He shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Dude, that's insane. I know. I suffer from it. Yeah. I had to pay the piper, too. Wow. I had to sit next to Goggins the entire fight. Oh, did you see him? A week. I sat with him the whole time. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, he was, he was cool. <laughs> He's probably the fucking man. <laughs> yeah, he was. We were pro Goggins, to be we, fair. Yeah, yeah. We recounted the thing. I did. I have been critical. Of his I jogging think. lifestyle. I've been like, what boats? Yeah. Oh, he's always like, I'm gonna carry the fucking boats. It's like you're training. You didn't read his autobiography. That's, no, I didn't read it. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't let the boat drop. Everyone was letting yeah, the boat yeah, drop during yeah, Hell yeah. Week, and he said he got up in the guy's face and was like, Oh, don't carry this. I was wrong, dude. He is the man. I, dude, I honestly, I watched that and I was like, 
I was just, I was going, all right, Crenshaw's got beef with the Goggins. He's about to expose Goggins. And I went, not convinced. Yeah, dude. Crenshaw got, Crenshaw kind of got beat. Dude, and Goggins has on his podcast, he has a dude who has to respond motherfucking to everything. <laughs> <laughs> How many times? Like 22 motherfucking times. Thank you. Yeah. It's so funny. He is for real that intense. I went in there just completely like, I don't care who wins this battle. And I went, and the battle goes to Goggins. The, yeah. Kept, and stuff kept coming new. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude. The new weirdest the new weirdest Navy SEAL. <laughs> Jocko's the reigning, <laughs> defending. <laughs> yeah, I had no, I had really, truly no dog in that fight, and I just went. It I mean, is fun to see Navy SEALs become influencers. Oh, it's dude, it's, <laughs> it's so a funny. funny fucking trajectory. I'd be, it's a scary enemy though. I mean, I mean, just, out of dude, his they mind. Could, they could, you could be sitting there like, God, I'm so fucking mad at Crenshaw, and it's like. I could shoot him from 700 yards away. Yeah. I could sneak into his day neighborhood. On that day. <laughs> There's no one with any True. idea. Like, where were you? Like, I, I was a mile away. I was, ran. And I, I ran jogged. 40 miles. Yeah, you're never going to find my car. And it's fucking, then you have like, you explode a rifle in the woods <laughs> and you're just like, I don't know. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that, that was, was scary intense. scary enemies to have. How was he? Was he chilling? Yeah. He, I mean, he was an intense man. Yeah. You could see it. Yeah, I bet. Adesanya came by us and started, they just immediately started doing push ups. What? Directly in front of me. I was just standing, again, fat Aztec you baby. Should, you should have fucking. Full fat Aztec baby. They were doing push ups, and I was like. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Those guys are doing. <laughs> you should have gave resistance to both of them. Said, all right, yeah, let's see. So you guys think you're tough? You guys are skinny little guys. Let's see. Let me see some weight on you guys. Toss those guys around. Dude, you're going to fucking. I'll beat his, Izzy's ass. You dude. flip them like a spatula, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I would get think of that Aguilar boy. <laughs> think of me versus that Aguilar boy. He's one twenty six five four. <laughs> that fucking overhand would have landed on my belly, dude. I'd be oh. like, oh, <laughs> oh. Mr. President, no, <laughs> not in front of forty five. <laughs> Mr. President, help! One yeah. of them got me. <laughs> yeah, then, all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him, get him, Tom. One of them got through. One of the rapists got through. <laughs> Damn, that'd be so funny to be chasing someone over the border and you get them and the rat tail just amazing. <laughs> yeah. they are, the rat tails—they're like lizards. It grows back. <laughs> it grows back quick, dude. If you're border patrol, you grab a rat tail. That thing grows back. That's a defense. That's a defense mechanism. That's why Mexicans have rat tails. Oh, that's fucking funny. It's the last thing you see. You go, God damn it. Damn it, he got away. It was another false rat tail. <laughs> yeah, getting damn. strangled in front of Donald Trump has to blow, dude. In the ring, someone's got you by the neck, and you're just looking around, and you see him just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, seeing him smiling, like, condescendingly at you as you lose consciousness would fucking blow. That would kill me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, this was funny. At one point, Jamie noted it. We saw him. He was standing talking to Dana, mm -hmm. and then Dana sat down. They were both standing next to each other, and he was talking but not looking at him. So then when Dana sat down, he was still talking and he caught himself mid sentence talking to no one. And it was very funny to see Donald Trump like, wow, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> he realized no one was listening. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, it was like he's on the phone. Yeah. You had to see him uncomfortably be like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Probably never forget it either. No, he'll be like, in his head, he's like, Dana's dead. I'm going to try to ruin him now. <laughs> I pulled my support for the UFC. Yeah, UFC is illegal in New York. Yeah. Overall, yeah, it was great. Mel Gibson was right there. What? I didn't get to talk to the Fury. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to talk to him. Dude, he's all the right-wing beasts. All the right-wing beasts in one spot, dude. Where's Wahlberg, Malcolm Gladwell, Wahlberg dude? was right there. I'm sure Gladwell was somewhere. You think Gladwell? No he's way. Gladwell box, wasn't dude. there. He's in a box, dude. You think so? Probably. Being, it's a right wing beast festival. Yeah, I'm saying Malcolm Gladwell. Yeah, he's not a right wing beast. I oh oh all that's right. That's the Blink guy. Who, that was who, a guy who uh, who's debated, the uh, fucking who's Matt the British Dabiti. guy? Oh, you're talking about Douglas Murray. Oh, okay, that's oh, what I was thinking. Oh, he was definitely licking he his was lips, there. dude. He was like, "Wow, this is a, what a beautiful fucking sight." I thought you Malcolm Gladwell was a guy who argued. Uh, yeah, that uh, he looks kind of. 
curly hair. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a kid, I saw a beach tag kid reading Gladwell's book, Blink, and I almost stopped and was like, throw that shit out. On, on the beach? No, he they were sitting in like one of them, one of them has, usually they sit in little chairs, but there's this one, one beach, like they let your kid sit in a hut, which is I was like, it's kind of unfair to all the other kids, but. He, they were just there was a girl just reading Blink, and I almost like went up to her like, "Yo, she kicks in in her face." Toss that dude, that she guy. That guy totally lost the debate. I don't know if you saw the monk debate. So Matt to BB and fucking, <laughs> <laughs> it talked to somebody, but he fucking lost. He looked like an asshole. Throw that book in the trash. You should have showed her. I did. I should have sat it down at the beach with a YouTube video. <laughs> it's too bright; no one can see it. And you should have just <laughs> held it up to her you face. You can hear it. You can hear it. I'm, I'm gray. I'm grayscale, bro. Oh, I've never scale. even heard of that. Grayscale, baby. Is that an option on the phone? Yeah, you look at your phone, and you just get, you just get instantly like the part of your brain that gets excited for your cell phone gets like deflated, and you go, <laughs> "It's yeah. a pure tool." We'll see. I, I if I have to do a screen recording, I'll switch it and I'll forget for another yeah. two years. But yeah, grayscale is a move right now. You I get need zero it. excitement, dude. You open your phone and go, "Jesus fucking Christ!" It, like, yeah. it d- disappoints you every time you open it. I was I literally watched eight hours of DJ Khaled videos on my phone for the, I mean I've been flying the last couple of days just nothing but DJ Khaled and then I can't stop doing it I can't stop doing it tell him to bring out the whole ocean can't stop that I scream what video was this it's he just keeps making videos where like <laughs> it's impossible to explain why it's funny it's funny yeah he just says something dumb he's got this dumb voice that he keeps doing as a joke that. Mm. Everyone gets annoyed by that's around him, but it is yeah, funny. Yeah, funny. It, He's it, wearing like a green jumpsuit. He walks in front of the camera and just goes, call me asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> call me asparagus. That's it. That's the joke. No, it's nice. <laughs> it's so good. I've dude. seen him be funny and stuff, yeah. too. He can do it. No, he's hilarious. He is. He, His I, videos are unbelievable. Yeah, he started hamming it up in the videos, going for the comic relief, and he never stopped. Yeah. Well, he also, he be, I, I, I don't know. He kind of embraced it. He became like... He did the We the Best. I think that was serious. He was We the Best. I think seriously, so. And then he was just like, yeah, I was fucking around. I know. I was just joking, dude. I, I know that sounds up. crazy to say. <laughs> we the best. Yeah, we the best music. I mean, that kind of rules. But it works now. He's extremely funny. Yeah. He did the damn thing. So I was on that. I was also forcing people to watch the. There's a new Napoleon trailer. There's a new Napoleon Is he a sure king? Movie. Is he a sure king in the movie? No, it's Joaquin Phoenix, dude. Oh, I, I think you directed me by this. Ridley Scott, dude. I I've never been hornier for a movie. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. <laughs> I've watched the trailer like seven times. What would you do to an early, get an early release? I I would do anything. I can't wait for Thanksgiving. Pop I would off. not trade the shirt. Dude. <laughs> you pop it off. I can't get rid of the shirt. <laughs> you gotta wear it every day. Uh, yeah. I was. It's it's coming out Thanksgiving, dude. Oh, Don't bring perfect. out Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> You got to do that's a great leave Thanksgiving early with the family and go watch a movie. Yes. That's always a nice one. And it's Napoleon. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, it'll be decent. Anyway, do yourself a favor. Go check out DJ Khaled. God, do someone I mean, I'm Props not going to who... call for for bakery violence on anyone, anybody. Anyone yeah, now, that's but, bad. Man. But pieing somebody in the face that you don't like is about as funny as it gets. It's crazy. Yeah, he he probably, was... he, he, I mean, that guy probably got fucked. That guy probably got assault charges. You buy a billionaire, dude. Yeah. It's like it's. You battered him, dude. True. <laughs> <laughs> that was full batter. True, but dude. Um, yeah, we were. Uh, the one thing that was cool from that book, they were talking about just how people used to have children back in the day, and it was like a full economic blessing. Like they were built into your wealth. The more kids you had, the richer you were. Yes. And it was like it was. Yeah. It was. You really get, tight. You get a little dowry yeah. going on. Well, it was that. just for the, because you would have, have kids a farm. helping you. Yeah, of course, man. Or you could send them to the factory. You used to be able to send your like six year olds to the factory. Nice. And just clock it all day. Yeah. So you'd send them to the factory. And what would happen is your wife, most times, like there was a lot of widowers back then because your wife would die. So you would just, their dudes would be constantly be getting reset up. Mm. So like you'd have like two kids with your wife, she'd die on the third one. And then they'd be like, yo, I, my cousin, you, you need yep. to get married immediately. Call her out of the bullpen. It would, <laughs> it would ruin you economically. Bring a sturdy broad. It would ruin you economically. So you'd start pieing. You'd be like, all right, let's start pieing because time is money and I got to pie yeah. to extend my amp- empire. So dudes were just pieing <laughs> back then. 
And you just every time he pied, you were like, imagine if he pied and you were like, yes, yes. Like there was no part it's of it. A it was a dollar a week extra. I'm gonna put this little fucker in a factory as soon as he turns six. Oh, then they lose a hand and you're like, we're ruined. <laughs> you're fucked. Now you got to pie again. To you just pie again. Got to pie again, but now you got to take care of the handless one. Uh, back you can, then, you can put him down. You can fucking. <laughs> now, this kid worships the devil and fucking set him <laughs> but yeah dude you would just pie and every single time you'd be like yes jackpot awesome we hit the jackpot that was must have been such a crazy world to live in it was like that for the majority of time between like also you, you might get a daughter but then again like you were saying get the dowry so that mm-hmm. was that was a ticking time bomb you had to just fucking block the, you only had to really guard them until they were 14 so like, you had to block the puss till they were 14 respectively Block the puss, and then send your boy. Send them out to the fact. You probably could send the girls to the fact too. Yeah. So you're coining, coining, coining. You got the boys going. Oh, wife dies. New sniz. Then he starts. You start pieing a new sniz, and then it's just nonstop. Dudes would have like they, most dudes would get like three wives like yeah. this. You're like, dude, the wife would die. They'd be like, let's go. Time's fucking money, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's wonderful. Um, and then he said, I was reading about this. I was like, this is fucking nuts. And then he said it, it just flipped to where like, if you have mo- more kids now in an urbanized setting, it's economic suicide. But yeah, man, that was pretty, that was pumping me up back just back in the day for the boys really having fun back then. Just yeah. Wife dies horrifically in childbirth. Kid All the dies. Time. And you're like single. Yes. I'm single. Time for me to mingle. Dude, that we bought a car yesterday. The guy, the service manager, not the service manager, the dealer manager, whatever, sales manager, he was on the news because he delivered his second kid himself. Whoa. Yeah, dude. He said there was like something happened where they couldn't get out and he was like, dude, this guy ruled. Ugh. He was, he is so hell bent on bringing Piazza Honda of Philadelphia to greatness. Yeah. We sat down with him. He's like, I'm not, he's like, no, this is our lives, man. He's like, these dudes want to, he's like, he's a like, customer service dip during the pandemic. We're making it right right now. He's like, we're not, we can't have that. This is our yeah. livelihood. This is what we do. Those guys are very serious. Yeah, dude. This guy was like all, I I, I was like, thought I was getting bullshitted from Piazza's all Piazza's a good group, dude. We used to do some dealer trades with Piazza. They're a good group. Yeah. Great bros. Dealer trade. You'd like a good dealer trade. I, dude, I'd love to be it's, inside of that call. Bro, dealer trades are so nice. They're like, look, we're, we're, we're trying to get a fucking metallic fucking honda pilot we don't have one do you guys have one they'd be like yes we need a fucking blue crv be like all right trade is on you and another guy drive to piazza oh same time it's the best day ever you get a whole day you get to leave work you get to drive there just to complete one sale shit rules oh that's really fucking awesome what a great day you get there you go oh yeah let me take a look at this looks good what's this what's this scratch be like hey it's on there you can get it yeah the carfax yeah bring the show me the carfax yeah, dude, the Carfax was clean as hell, dude. We went and got a CRV yesterday. I saw it, dude. I was in it. That thing's nice, dude. I'm I respectfully you. didn't throw a dip in. Appreciate it. I was that. close. Appreciate I was close, that. and I was like, I don't want to get dip in his new car. Uh, you would have, you would have been perfect. Cause Sean set you up with an empty coffee cup to dip right into. Mm. Oh. You littered in the car already. I will throw it out once we get back to my house. <laughs> Did you litter already? I always take care of my garbage. He does. It's true. House. He does. He cleans up. Yeah, who doesn't? Who the admiral? <laughs> Really? The Commodore leaves. He loves <laughs> stuffing the fucking passenger door with trash. Oh, <laughs> fucking ticks me off. Dude. I don't get you. That'll get you. But yeah, dude, the uh, I thought for sure these guys were just full full of shit. I'm like, yeah, okay. Well, micro, they are. They are. Microchip. They were. True, but. But yeah, well, I had a sales manager that was like that. He was like obsessed. Yeah, dude. I mean, this is their life and they are actually pretty serious. He's about been it. there 20 something years. Yeah. Dude. They he, love it. Yeah, especially after you deliver your kid, dude. Well, that's gruesome. Deliver your own kid. This dude was totally delivered. Dude. What a gruesome experience. Yeah, man. He was this guy was just like it's the best thing in the world, man. He was just dude was just like Yeah, he's a little he's got fucking shell shock, shell shock for sure. He's an honest make an honest man out of you, dude. <laughs> confront you confront that, dude. I'll, fuck, I'll fucking never I'll fucking never pretend never meeting again. I'll fuck I'll give people a fair <laughs> fucking price. They yeah, teamed with right. fucking Edmonds, dude. Talk about that. What's that? Piazza teamed with Edmonds. Really? Yeah, they're not using that Kelly Blue Book bullshit. Oh, I'm done with Kelly. Some lady tried KBB fucking... KBB can go fuck Dude, itself, bro. Some lady... I won't mention the dealership. I won't badmouth him. It wasn't Piazza. We went to another dealership. Lady tried... I was like, yo, I just checked Edmonds, man. You guys you guys are high as hell. And they were like, Edmonds is... That's not even... You got to check Kelly Blue Book. And I was like, don't. Please. Don't. Please don't bring that KBB. Get KBB out of my face. There's no yeah. real-time... Where's the real-time data? That's what we need. I need real-time sales data, dude. So we need, you know, it was always nice when you were a, as a salesman, 
when you see a nice broad walk in by herself and you say, this lady's not checking one fucking KBB. Dude. But then they bring their daddies in with them sometimes. The yeah, young girl brings her dad in and he's killer. there to be like, I'm going to dominate this. Yeah. Like, you don't know shit either, dumbass. <laughs> I'm going to trick you too. Well, dude, the dealership was, I was, I was like trying to like juke and jive and they were like, dude, look around. There's no cars in the fucking lot. He's like, do we don't have any cars? He's like, I'm not lying. There's fucking mean, truckers, off, dude. Let me knock off a couple hundred bucks. I supported truckers. I supported them. Yeah. I said, that's why I bought a car to support the truckers. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll buy a fucking car right now. I'll buy a car. They said they're going up over 7,000 MSRP next week. And they're like, we're not budging because people need cars. Yeah. But he's like, it sucks because we can't really. You got a good one, though. Yeah, got a got black it. CRV. We got that deal. shit's tight. We got a deal. I wanted a CRV. Get one. I might get one. They're good. They're good for the city as well. I'll take you down to P. Oh, I'll take you. I'm down not going to P. Out. Man, I got the hook. Oh, up, you got dude. the hook up. I'm going to Bobby Ray Hall Honda. You got the, you got the hook up. You're telling me I'm, I'm going to Bobby Ray Hall Honda on the Carlisle Pike. True. You got the hook up too. You should see the Pike these days. Really? It's just all dealerships. Is it really? It's a whole road, just all dealerships. It's wild. They got an auto mall. And then there's the Cumberland Valley High School. <laughs> yeah, Philly's auto malls. It's like junkyards, a strip club. And then it's like, oh, you breach that. And then all of a sudden you hit like just a beautiful string of dealerships. Kia. I love seeing a Kia dealership. Kia dealership. There's a fucking, there's a Harley Davidson dealership across the street from ours. They were always up to no good, those guys. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Did you ever go up there? and? Like, I always go over there and say, turn it down. There are a couple, there are a couple of renegades. Turn the music down a little. Yeah, my brother bought a motorcycle from Harley Davidson a while ago. Really? Go in there. There are renegades in there, dude. Yeah, they, every every Saturday they'd have a barbecue. What? There was nothing we could do to compete with it. It's like a pirate. Over at Bobby Ray Hall. <laughs> we're selling fucking Civics like women. <laughs> All the dude, Harley guys were out revving their engines. You see a girl walk in by herself, and it really is. like It was so hard to keep Brittany down from like the EX. It's like the fully loaded one. Yeah. We would like, so we'd look at the cars and we're like, all right, like we get the CRV and then she'd be like, fuck, let's just get an old new EX. And I'd be like, no, yeah, no, we're not. The doing LX that. is fine. We're not doing the LX. Did dude. you get an LX? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm an LX perfect. guy. LXs are perfect. I don't want Apple play. You got the backup cam. It's already it's in there. Need. It's, it's need. standard now. Alloy wheels. I was just kicked back and comfortable. You just make me feel comfortable, dude. God damn. He's, whoa, damn, dude. dude. <laughs> is that glow in the dark? No, don't worry about it, bro. Oh, don't worry about what I'm what? up to over here, bro. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Don't worry about it. It's glow in the dark. <laughs> dude, you got to charge that up in the sun. <laughs> I, uh, no, that thing's sick. I got hammered. I got hammered, and I was watching Three Six Mafia videos. <laughs> <laughs> and I forgot I ordered this. And then uh, I got a mail a package. Dude. And I opened it and I was like, oh my God. You have, you have to start doing a drunk QVC show, dude, where you just get <laughs> dude, hammered and browse just, the internet and buy just, I, I literally checked my Amazon search after it and it was Juicy J t shirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is, you may recognize, recognize this from the Stay Fly music video. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yes. That's also sick to write a song yeah. about staying fly. Like, all right, we got to show how fly we are. And it's like, all right, I'm going to get my skull shirt. <laughs> I'm also very, very unironically dressing completely like a wicker now, dude. Just 100%. Not changing the way I talk or act or anything different. Just the uniform I'm wearing is dude, crazier by the day. I don't know what's to. happening. No, you know. need to. I don't know what's happening. Do you have access? Dude, to, I was do you have this, access to first down apparel? I can get it. Yeah, it's I've, huge. I've been wearing this like I was into Wawa today. Hell yeah, dude! And I was just standing there and I was like, I bet people are looking at me like which Wawa? Aramingo. Oh, dude, no way! People are probably this like, this was nice. perfect attire for yeah. But this is. This I mean, is it. you were you were in Kensington proper with a like a glow, possibly glow in the dark skull shirt. <laughs> people are probably like, whoo. Yeah. That's that's like what camouflage is to Harrisburg yeah. or Mechanicsville. That's that's pretty much Kensington camouflage, dude. Yeah. This is what it's about. <laughs> anyway, I knew you'd be excited about this I'm shirt. I'm very excited. Yeah. Oh, this is big. This that's is big up, for man. us. Mustache. That's a shirt. good... I think that's an appropriate move. Yeah. To just, you know, deck yourself out in that gear and just be like, and anyway, another thing. Yeah, like, and here's what I don't like about the media. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah Coop had to apologize, dude. He came out and was... Uh, he trashed the poor. There was another. I saw something on social media too. Like someone was 
badgering Trumpites or whatever, Trumpians, whatever they call them. And they, uh, like, why do all these guys who love Trump drive white vans? And it's like, because they they're work. Work. <laughs> they they're work. working. They have yeah. fucking, they have jobs that most people don't want to do. Loving the workers and being like, who is idiots? Well, it's like, dude, you ever been on a job site? They fucking love that shit. <laughs> Billy got pulled over recently and the cop, <laughs> the cop was. <laughs> <laughs> Billy got pulled over recently, and the cop was like, "What were you trying to storm the Capitol?" Ha <laughs> ha, like joking. Yeah, dude. dude the so, cop did. Yeah, it's fucking around. It's fucking he's racial like, profile. He's like, for real, dude. For real. That's how yeah. dare they profile? That's fucked up, dude. He looked at Billy and said, Are you, "Damn, that cop nailed that one." <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, that yeah, cop dude. was exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it's a. Uh, they, you, the war mode left their notebook up here. I know. That's what this is. I know, dude. This thing Tell is... us what... Just read one of the notes. This is their note. This is what they're going to cover in their show. Uh, Pizzagate never been debunked. <laughs> <laughs> Wiki- also on the bottom of the, the other side is Pizzagate as well. Yeah. W- Wiki- this Leaks. is good stuff. WikiLeaks never made up an email. How about that? I can get behind that. Uh, yeah. I can't listen to too much war mode or... They start making a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been in solitary, dude. Have ever you been? since I had COVID nineteen? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, dude. I'm happy you're here, dude. That that sucked. Yeah, me too. Life without you, man. I know. It's no good. I know. I was listening to like you on other podcasts, just walking around in New York, just like, man, I miss my friends. Baby was out there, dude. Yeah. Baby was out there. Just, I was running around Sue all week, dude. I was. What running. were you doing? Just doing podcasts. Hanging out dude. with other guys? Just being a podcast whore, dude. Yeah. Just going disgusting. on doing po- Just being a slut, dude. Yeah. That was my college fucking years. Disgusting. Just went in, dude, you know the sluts aren't making enough right now. They're pissed. Sluts are not making enough money? Yo, yeah. did you see 140,000 people lost their jobs in December and they were all women? What? Yeah. Is that where that stat came from? Yes. Oh, and it's saw- just the most misleading way to present that stat. Because I saw they were, they were <laughs> talking about, um, you know, how now that, like, Pretty much only women lose their jobs. They have to be sluts now. That was the article being like, women are losing their jobs and they have to do OnlyFans. But now there's so many sluts on OnlyFans, it's not worth any yeah. money now. So now that like, it's funny. It, well, you kind of think about it. It's kind of like one of those economic things where it's like, if you take away all of the taboo around like, you know, sticking pens up your butt on the internet, suddenly it's not that valuable of a service. So I, uh, yeah, you know, so we, we want, it's good that we're all set very sex positive now, but now you can't get like $200 an hour for just like quaking and, you know, like peeing on your sheets or whatever people are up to on there. Yeah. That sucks. Uh, yeah, got sucks. Saturated a little. I, I don't, you know, I don't want to see, you know, the sluts in poverty, but that was like, that was like the, the gold rush. Yeah. Just that rush of women settlers to be sluts. Yeah, dude. There was like, there's gold paving the streets out here. And only I mean, fans. dude, that must've been so, cause it, it's gotta suck when you're a girl. And you're like, all right, like you're looking at jobs. You're like fourteen forty four an hour, part time, no benefits, and you're like, I could make two hundred thousand dollars in half <laughs> yeah, a year yeah. showing my pussy. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Can't do that. That's yeah, it's wrong. And then they're like, no, dude, just set up a little thing, dude. I I, I wouldn't be able to not do that. Um, although I yeah. would I would say just you know I don't want to. Would steal. you consider masturbating on OnlyFans? If I was a girl, yes. If not you were not a as a guy. No. Yeah, as a boy. No, I couldn't do that as a man. Really? Not as the man in the house. What do you have to say? They have dude only fans. You can have an only fans. Yeah, oh, I know that. Like, Lamar's called man? gay porn, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> Ever heard of it? <laughs> they're not. It's not. They're, what are you like not dudes gay, who dude? Fuck women. It's dudes who fuck women. It's like dudes who fuck women. Yeah, and girls are just like spending a bunch of money watching this. Lamar. Yeah, don't kid just, yourself. No, not really. Not enough to support women, me women, financially, bro. Women love to lie about watching porn. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Only the. Biggest whores watch porn. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a girl who watches porn, do yourself a kindness and cut that out. Oh, for sure. Disgusting. <laughs> Knock it off, dude. Disgusting. You see what happens if you're a whore? You'll become poor. Yep. You'll you lose become- your, your boss probably knows you want to do OnlyFans, fires you. You're over there like, I don't want to do this. I could in there. Okay. Your boss mm-hmm. says, I don't like I don't like the, the values you're bringing into this place. Yeah, disgusting. I feel like you want to shove something up your butt on camera. Every day I Get look out at of you. you. I see you eyeing objects in the office. <laughs> I know you're scanning. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's so funny of a girl just like being like, damn, I think I'm going to lose this job and like taking bathroom breaks and just stretching just themselves, like, just Ugh. fucking fisting there. Like, <laughs> I'm almost there. I just got to hold this down for another week. Yeah, yeah, but apparently they're not making a lot of money as much as they thought. So now like they've just like put stuff out about themselves online 
and uh, it's not it's not paying off. And welcome I think, to podcasting. I think <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> welcome to podcasting. Yeah, it can backfire. Yeah. But I think uh, I think probably the December thing was a lot of women are in the service industry. Uh, and then once it got cold out, a bunch of businesses had to shut down. Yeah. Right? Isn't that probably simple? Yeah. yeah, probably. Although there's a lot of nurses. True. A lot of a lot of business growing, is booming. They're crushing it right now. Yeah. I mean they're they're not just cru- overtime hero status. Dying. <laughs> taking a couple Are they dying? Are the nurses dying? I think the nurses are toughing it out. But I think they're fine, yeah. Yeah. I think they're getting a little sickly. They might get sickly. They're getting sickly. I, I think there was a doctor who died. He got the COVID vaccine and instantly died. From the vaccine he died? Yeah. Well they're so they the companies are like, look, that's you know, it could have been anything and the wife's like he was very healthy and took that and died a week later <laughs> so his wife's being like it's nah, funny when it's the vaccine they're like it could have been anything yeah. meanwhile if he would have died of just covid they'd be like it was covid 100 <laughs> percent. you gotta watch out yeah. for it yeah man but yeah so he, he uh yeah he he died like a week afterwards and but the wife is being i mean then again it's like bro well, i don't think you can sue vaccine company like drug companies for vaccines specifically i think that was one of the things they did with Operation Warp Speed really was make sure that you couldn't get sued for for what they're putting out. I believe pretty tight. I could be wrong because that's why vaccines. I mean, not just the science, obviously, take like decades to get done. Yeah, there's also like it's a liability. Yeah, and I think with this, Trump dog was like, "Nah, dude, fired up, fired up, fired up." Yeah, I wonder if he got paid. Trump dog. Yeah, you just have to assume yes. You have to, man. If you're yeah. the president, there's not – like, dude, you could – it's w- within your hands to be like, not that one. Yeah. He also freed Wheezy yesterday. Freed Wheezy? Lil Wayne. For Lil what? Lil Wayne got a presidential pardon. For what? I forget what – I don't even know what the crime was. But – uh, Is this from when he had the gun on the bus? I don't know. I could have sworn he already went to jail for that. He did. That he, was like 10 years ago. Yeah, Trump expunged yeah. like his record? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably what it was. What happened? Yeah. I think it was a felony. So you're a felony forever, right? Yeah. You're a felon forever. Damn, Trump gave Lil Wayne guns? Yes. Oh, wait. So Trump couldn't, or Lil Wayne couldn't even vote? No. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Technically, no. <laughs> so his endorsement was just like, get out there, y'all. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, Lil Wayne can legally own a shotgun, but I think that's about it. Nice. Trump, dude, if Trump goes around and starts expunging rappers' records, that would be pretty cool. He freed ASAP Rocky from Sweden. I mean, that was a Got thing. no love in return from ASAP. And as an ASAP Rocky fan, I, I'm a little bummed. Yeah. I burnt all my ASAP Rocky merch. <laughs> Did you really? I said, that's not my rapper. <laughs> uh, dude, the, uh, you know what? I, I don't know where I got this thought of the other day, but I, for some reason I started thinking about myself at uh, family parties when I was little. And, like, my interactions, like, specifically with, like, uncles and, like, older just dudes I would see at, like, a Christmas, like a christening party. And it was, like, from the ages of, like, 7 to about 15, I would just, like, at a party get randomly accosted by a guy, like, come here, and, like, kind yeah. of threaten to kick in my ass all the time. Like, Always. Just grab me, like, oh, kick your little ass, dude. Yeah. It would just, I would just bounce between men and be like, oh, beat your ass. And then I would, like, run from that and then just, like, gorge myself on meatballs and be like, oh. That's just exactly like, what sit, it is. Just sit in a corner and be like, <laughs> yeah, it hurt. They'd pick you up in like nuggies, like hard nuggies and like pinches and shit. They would shake hands and crush oh, my hand. They always crush, crush my hand, hand, grab me, hit me, and then it would just like do to do. Like, come here, you little shit. I'm gonna kick your ass. Which is like, funny because that's exactly what I do now to my nieces and nephews. Yeah, that's what made me think about. Hundred percent. I'm like, come here. That's like, what made me think scare about. Scare them. I was at Butterly's house and I, I think it was like instinctually I saw one of, I, one of his younger kid and I was like, you want to rough dude? him up? Yeah, I was like, what's up, bro? And gave him one yeah. of those and I'm like. That was weird. Where did I learn that? And I was like, oh, yeah. That's, I just instantly flash back to yeah. just all my uncles being like, come here, dude. Think you're cool? Think you're tough? Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, ah. Sometimes they'd make me cry. <laughs> and the uncle would be like, ah, he's being a pussy. <laughs> no, I'm not. He grabbed hit you with me. one of these. Just like, just yes. digging in your arm. It was nothing but the craziest wow. fucking moves, dude. Yeah. And I, I, it was like, as soon as I, like, because I, I think, like, Butterly saw me, like, come here, bro. Like, hitting him with the fucking, like, just, I was just, like, flexing at a kid. And I'm like, yeah. why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just started to re- think about it. I'm like, damn, dude. All I had was just dudes flexing in my face. Yeah. Like, I'll fuck you up, dude. You fucking girl. And I was just like, fuck, dude. Yeah. Like, you have a girlfriend yet? No? Didn't think so. I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, Aren't you divorced? Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. 
I would just be like above a fire hall with like dudes smoking cigarettes with like a with a red face from pounding beers, like you fucking bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my mom had one cousin who would only talk like the Nightcrawler. I'm like, oh yeah, oh man, oh. he would hit me with that. The Wait, not the Nightcrawler. It was, he really sad. Or he would say he was. <laughs> he, he, was macho say, man? he would say he was the Nightcrawler, but uh, yeah, I guess he was doing it. What? How does the Nightcrawler talk? Oh wait, Nightcrawler. I'm sorry. I thought you were referencing Night Stalker. He would try to tell me. No, no. <laughs> he was like, "I'm the devil. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm coming here to kill. I've you. got a hammer. <laughs> I'm gonna kill your grandma. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he was raping those geezers too. Blah blah blah. I can't even speak on that. But yeah. The New know World Order. Yeah. The globalists. Yeah. Pretty sure they got it. I'm pretty sure they got it in the bag. I was reading about it last. Turns out ivermectin's. Totally fine. Really? And they knew it was totally fine, and DARPA suggested it Where? years years ago. Where'd you see this? It's the internet. I, I can't confirm if it's real or not. For sure. But a guy who seemed pretty smart was talking about it. Mm. And yeah, he was saying that I remember DARPA had laid out like, what do you know about DARPA? I know about them. What is it? A little bit. I think it's like the defense and <laughs> Yeah, you got it. Something. It's just America's <laughs> military research thing. Yeah, yeah. It's just a dick thing to do to be like, what do you know about that? I know a little bit. Um, I know Peter Daszak tried to sell it to the boys. That fucking sack of shit, dude. <laughs> what do you know about Peter Daszak? <laughs> Eco Health Alliance? Come on, bro. Bro, uh, it goes so fucking deep, bro. <laughs> yeah, this guy was just sitting there talking about how DARPA had suggested it to the F. The FDA? F, F, no. What's the CDC? What's the FDA? Uh, yeah, there's FDA, and then there's the National Infectious. Fauci's part of like the NSAID or some uh-huh. bullshit. Well, apparently they suggested ivermectin a long time ago. Really? They're like, it's effective. It works. Yeah. If there's another COVID SARS, this works. Yo, Google how many pharmaceutical products there are. No. How many pharmaceutical products are on the market? Do me a favor, Sean Blazington. (laughs) Damn. I never even considered what that number could be. Bro. What do you think it is? You ready to go deep? What do you think that number is? It's got to be fucking Uh, astronomical. It's probably 5,000. It's probably like 90. How many is it? 90. Fucking million. five thousand, twenty thousand, twenty thousand, Whoa, 90 million. Bruh, look up how many pro- how many of those products actually cure diseases. <laughs> twenty thousand pharmaceutical products. How many cure diseases, bro? Hit me with the fucking documentation. How many think it? How many think cure diseases? I'll give you a hint. Is this from Blazington? Antibiotic. No, I, saw this, I, saw this, Blazington? No, 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 no. I saw this on something else. It's just antibiotics. They say. What do you mean? The, the only pharmaceuticals that actually cure a disease. Oh, are antibiotics? Antibiotics. Okay. The rest of them? No, no. I don't know. No diseases are cured. Dude, they came out with the fucking uh, SSRI stuff. That's based on a, a theory that apparently, if you look at it, it didn't actually hold weight. In ter- it wasn't like abundantly clear that that's the case, that depression's caused by your brain not oh. reuptaking serotonin. They're just dishing those things out. That could go either way. It's not, yeah. it's not, it's not very, uh, it's not very scientific. What you guys got? It's antibiotics, man. It's five hundred. God yeah, damn it! I'm just trying to prove a point. It, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, That's it seems like a hard one, dude. <laughs> what are you guys on fucking TikToks, dude? Yeah. There's one. World Health Organization Jesus. said no, those liars don't yeah. fuck them. Uh, four hundred sixty different pharmaceuticals. That's something. Psh, probably four hundred sixty pharmaceutical companies, bro. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> when you think about it. Jeez. What the hell's going on with you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nothing. No, no, no. I'd like to hear more about this character. He's nice, man. He's, What's he look like? What's he sound they don't, like? They, Nobody you knows. don't see this guy at all. Oh, it's a podcast? His screen is just like, yeah, it's just flashes of pictures going up, and he just sits there and talks to people. And anyone who calls him up, if they start like fucking up at all, roasted. Really? Yeah. Roasted, dude. Yeah, like when he found uh, when the. the it's Blazington? Yeah. That's him? Dude. He literally, like, if any Kinda if any like lady Chris calls, Tucker. he immediately starts getting sexy. He goes, "I'm doing amazing right now. How are you doing, dude? It's so funny." Tell me about yourself. What's it my, called? Uh-huh. What's his YouTube page? Sean Blazing. It's just Sean Blazing. Sean Blazing. Yeah, Sean it's, Blazing it's TV nice. on YouTube. He's yeah, got four hundred thousand subscribers. What? He's nice. He's, he's clouded, dude. Oh shit. He's killing it. I it's, thought you guys found a guy with like twenty listeners. No nah, man, he's clouded. Damn. He's, he's very funny. But either way, I'll take back my disrespect. Yeah, he's <laughs> the Lord Blazington. The um, but yeah, dude, that uh, apparently the boosters are getting really weird too. They they were I watched a guy who was like a doctor who's been covering this the whole time, saying yeah. that the 
what is it the the new bivalent boosters the one where you get the wuhan strain and now the like past one he was saying oh, that that was tested on six to 12 lab rats and that's what they based the findings on they rolled it out <laughs> it was like dude yeah according this was this is like a, this guy's a legit doctor has been like covering it the whole time and he's not like he just you know he's, he's not, not like ridiculous kook. he'll be yeah. like yeah you know it helped people if you're older blah 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 but uh yeah they're saying the new one and it's based off the flu vaccine tries to predict they like go you know like down south or something they try to like okay what are you guys dealing with now maybe we'll have that later they were saying they're hitting us with shit we already processed what, in like our in body. Brazil? Yeah. I saw that. I went to the, when I was looking at the ivermectin stuff, I tried mm-hmm. to do, that. you can't even read it. Really? I tried to look at like the New England Medical Journal about it. Yeah. It's fucking gibberish. Oh, dude, it's crazy. It's gibberish. And then it has citations about like adverse, a- adverse effects from ivermectin. And it has a citation. So I clicked the citation. You can, it's, it's very easy to cross reference it. It just mm-hmm. took me to some study in Brazil that was, again, gibberish. Yeah. This time in Portuguese. Oh. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to listen to a book about Hitler and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I did. It is nice. Every time I go online, I'm like, I'm finally going to get to the bottom of this. It's time to this. get to the bottom never of this. Do. I never do. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to look at pictures of hot ladies on Instagram. <laughs> That's how they keep you locked in, dude. They don't the want ladies, you. To be, they don't, I don't want you to be able to read the journal. I don't fucking the algo at all. I don't go through that like real part of it. No, shit. I've my my algo my algo's healed. Mine's I'm telling cats. you, mine's factory fresh. Mine's like if you open up a brand new YouTube account. Really, it's like these five amazing tricks. Wow, yeah. check out the voice. Although I have been I've been getting tricked on Twitter a lot. Really? A lot of these spam articles. Like, what do they look like now? I'm like, let's take a look. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I got, Son I got, bitch. to be fair, on the internet the other day, I got tricked on like celebrities who lost their fortunes article. It's all that they all, yeah, they it's me. all tax evasion. Every single one of them is like tax evasion, tax evasion, tax evasion, tax evasion. I don't understand. They just don't know, like, no celebrities pay their taxes. Yeah. It's like step one, dude. They fudge up. Just pay your fucking taxes. It's hard to pay taxes. You're making a million dude. bucks. All yeah. you gotta do is set aside like 25, 30%. Yeah. Just don't, that's not yours. I get. Look, I get it. I think that's probably hard. I, but what do you have? Millions of, of dollars? Yeah, it's party time. Yeah, I just bought a man. You're buying a mansion. I guess so. Pool party for seven months. I guess so. But I'm Next saying thing you know, you go shit. You're you're literally fucked. Yeah, and then they put handcuffs on you. Yeah, they were. You I have to go home. I like had a bail. I was reading so many. I'm like, give me something juicy. Yeah. It's just tax evasion, tax evasion. Uh, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to recount the article, but. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan tax evasion. No. So I thought hers was more like cocaine and like yeah. crashing cars and stuff. But no, it turns out, also, turns out tax evasion. Yeah, they get them, dude. It's like fucking Capone. Like no. we can't get her on the cocaine. She's yeah, too true. sly. <laughs> She's too slick. Um, I had a nice train ride here today. Mm, how was it? My, I ran into a tough tactic because I like to look as disheveled as possible and spread out mm-hmm. on the two chairs. Yeah. Hopefully no one sits with me. Then you run into a problem that on, the only people that will sit with you, especially on a sold out car, is somebody equally insane. Yikes. They'll say, scoot over. <laughs> I went fucking elbow to elbow with some fucking old psycho. Uh, it was tough. And also, I was watching White Lotus on my phone. So it looked like I was watching pornography about, you know, half the time. Yeah. Watching the first season. It's very oh, good. First season's great. Yeah. yeah first season's good. Sure, it's great. I think you have a bias though, because I watched the second one before I watched the first one. I'm like, second one's better. I think the f- second one's better. The second one, I think, is I think better. it's more believable. I, I thought, I thought people like people were telling me the first one's better. Most people were saying that. I watched the second. I, I watched just the second. I watched the first one first. I watched the second one late, and I was telling Brittany, I was like, the second season's actually better. Yeah, I think so. Way too. more believable plot line. First season's funny, but I was like, the first season gets like Not that far into it. I won't say anything, but uh, it gets like you're like, all right, it's yeah. kind of cool, but like the second one, I think, is like. You know, still is a little ridiculous. It was your style of comedy, though. Love it, dude. Just dudes at wit's end doing all types of weird shit. I love getting it. Getting fucked up, throwing their lives away. Dude, the one part trying I... Trying to butt fuck. Yep. The one part, that's me. The one part I really... Yeah, I was like, I was watching, I was like, Matt's gotta love this shit. I love it, dude. In the second season, when they were talking about how... It's like, I just feel bad for men, because they're just all alone in their own little world, and I was watching, and they cut to the dudes jet skiing. It's like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, ah! that part was great. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, that was fun. So I had that going on. So who sat next to you? Uh, just an old, old man. I'm not gonna say what race he was. Yeah. <laughs> if I had to get that, I actually think he was a gay man. Really? But I could have been white lotus brained. True. 
I think he was a gay man. He had a, he was with another man. He was with a partner. And they split up. And I could hear him trying to get people to switch seats. And I was like, no fucking chance, dude. Really? I'm I'm on a window seat. No chance. Damn, you're like a senator blocking gay marriage. I just kept my yeah. I was like, I'm not switching so you and your pal can sit together. Yeah, dude. You're adults. You should have been like, I would switch, but I don't agree with that. Yeah. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with two six year olds being like, can we sit together? There it's should like, be no. a moratorium on the age of being gay. Yes. You can't be elderly and gay for sure. Not. I agree. I'm not worried about their gayness. I'm worried about adult men uh, being like, I want to sit with someone else. It's well, like, isn't that what we're talking about? That's being gay as hell. <laughs> it's as gay as it gets, but not in the homosexuality. I know. Sense. I'm talking about the. I'm talking about. I have no problem with the homosexuality at all. It's just yes. there should be a time limit on it. That's all I'm saying. On acting like a sissy. Yeah, just no, just being well, gay. You can't be gay when you're 60. At that point, it's just like, all right, you guys, valve celibacy, no more gay yeah. stuff. It's too fucked. No, but even if it was a guy <laughs> and a woman, if the oh, man dude, that's was just the crazy. One, if the man that was like, we're trying to sit together. I ride even harder no. against that. That's no. dude. That should be illegal for a dude to yeah. ask that. It's like, bro, you guys, how long has been married? Forty years. That's I'm that, throwing you the alley oop to go sit yeah. by yourself on a fucking train. What are you doing, dude? That's where that gay gay gets a little confusing. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? I thought oh, you yeah. meant acting gay, not being gay. Yeah, I mean well, literally being gay. a homosexual <laughs> versus gay. Being a gay homosexual dude. versus gay for sure. I get yeah, no. There's a huge distinction. But yeah. dude, I've seen that before on airplanes where like couples in their sixties are like, we're trying to sit together or like they end up having to sit like split aisle and they're like, oh, and it's like, dude, fucking hit the back, bro. Yeah. You got two hours Jackpot. of fucking peace and Q, dude. P I'm and fucking Q. Snoring. I was snoring on the train, dude. Nice. I was just, <laughs> 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 Clearly you have sleep apnea. Were you snoring? <laughs> Or do you think? Do you, think you think the guy snuck one in me? <laughs> oh. you're, you're sleeping. Oh. <laughs> oh, excuse stand, me. He's just standing up with his dick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh. No, I had the tray down. For sure, yeah, you're you Good that. call. Good call. There's one thing. That's good what call. those are for. Nobody's eating on the Amtrak. You have to, there's a cafe car. Those are strictly to prevent homosexual men <laughs> to from fucking putting their genitals in your face. <laughs> No, thank you. And I got screwed too, because on the way there, there was a, a woman sitting next to me. Great. Oh, three you had a three row. No, no. At first, and the second everyone got off, she got up to go to another one. I was like, son of a fuck. At Philly, she switched. I was like, shit. Do you feel it? And you're like, like, and you're sitting on an airplane, and you're waiting for people to get on next to you, and like a girl sits next to you or a train or whatever. Does it? Do you like? Does your body? react to someone entering like your space if it's a girl like do you kind of get a little charged up not on like any scandalous stuff but like do you ever get on an airplane like a girl sits down next to you and your whole fuck like all the cells in your bodies are going oh we're in love now <laughs> <laughs> yes obviously <laughs> everyone has that and you're like i was sitting there quiet the whole time like i wonder if she's Should thinking we about still talking <laughs> yeah. like, white lotus huh <laughs> just got headphones on <laughs> Yeah, when no. I went out to Vegas. Thankfully, I only fly first class now, so there's nice. almost no women. True. It's just the white, it's the old white men up front. That's that curtain between first class and coach. It's yeah. the patriarchy blocker, dude. It's fucking Blocking it. It's time for the white men to sit up front and cough and burp together. <laughs> Snore loudly. Yep. Get the girls. The girls can get up girls there. Girls in the back. They just go, and they yeah. walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't see, I mean, you don't see that many women in first class, I guess. Wives, a lot of babes, yeah, a lot true. of the wives, yeah, yeah, true, but true, it is true. mostly old men, yeah, it is, yeah, it is. I, I like that walk. I always walk, and when I walk onto the plane, if I see them on first class, I always look at them and go, Bro, he goes conducting business, bro. You should switch with me right now. You better be conducting business, that's what I tell them, yeah. I go, Bro, I say, is this Wi Fi working for you? My laptop's not, and then I play Total War. I might start doing the opposite and go up to first class and make, Bro, I'm trying not to sit with my wife. Can we switch? Bro, I really like that. One day, please. somebody would respect that. Bro. Someone would go, bro, I know. Bro, I would love to fly in peace and quiet with my wife and two kids, but 